بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ مارننگ اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ ڈوئنگ ویل ٹوڈے از اوور فورتھ لیکچر ان دس آن لائن سیشن اینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور پنکچویشن پریکٹس کمپوزیشن سیمپل اینڈ گائڈڈ کمپوزیشن سو اوور فرسٹ ٹاپک از پنکچویشن پریکٹس لک ایٹ دا سینٹینس دا فسٹ ون سینٹینسز ان انگلش بگن وتھ آ کیپیٹل لیٹر اینڈ اینڈ وتھ آئیدر آ فل اسٹاپ آ کوشچن مارک اور این ایکسکلیمیشن مارک اٹ مینس دیٹ ان انگلش وی آلویز یوز کیپیٹل لیٹر ان دا اسٹارٹ آف دا سینٹینس ان دا بگننگ آف دا سینٹینس اینڈ دا سینٹینس and end with either a full stop or a question mark or an exclamation mark sometime we have to put a full stop and sometime we have to put a question mark or sometime we have to put an exclamation mark so the question is this that when we have to put a full stop and when we have to put question mark or when we have to put an exclamation mark so uh, look at the first one If the sentence make a simple statement, put a full stop. It means that if the sentence is a simple statement, then we have to put a full stop. For example, we have a sentence here. The Titanic was the world's largest ocean uh, liner when it sank. So, uh, it's a simple statement. The Titanic was the world's largest ocean liner when it sank. So, at the end, we put a full stop because it's a simple statement about the Titanic. The next one, if the sentence asks a question, often that means it starts with who, what, when, where, how, and why. Put a question mark. Okay, if the sentence, if, if uh, the sentence asks a question or if we are asking a question, uh, at that time we have to put a question mark. And the sentence start with who, what, when, where, why, and how. These are the WH questions or WH words. Means who, what, when, where, how, and why. These are question words. So, if the sentence asks a question, we have to put a question mark at the end. Uh, look at the example. Who was the captain on board the Titanic? So, this is a question about the captain. Who was the captain on board the Titanic? So, we put a question mark here. If the sentence shows a strong, a strong feeling or if it starts with how or what but doesn't ask a question, use an exclamation mark. Okay, uh, we use uh, an exclamation mark if, um, we, if the sentence shows a strong feeling or if the sentence starts with how or what but it doesn't mean that uh, it asks a question, the sentence asks a question. Uh, but it shows the strong feeling. Uh, at that time, we use an exclamation mark. Iceberg ahead. Cry the look out. Okay, here, look at here. Iceberg ahead. This is a strong feeling. Cry the look out. What a shock it was when the ship sank. So, these are the example. And uh, these two sentences shows the strong feeling strong feelings about the ship when the ship sank or about the iceberg that uh, when uh, they saw the iceberg they cried out iceberg ahead cried the lookout so we have three uh, punctuation marks here the first one is full stop the second one is question mark and the third one is exclamation mark when we have to put a question mark when Uh, the sentence ask a question we have to put a question mark at the end and if this statement is a simple statement if the sentence is a simple statement then we have to put a full stop and if the um, sentence shows a strong feeling 
एट दैट टाइम वी हैव टू यूज़ एन एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क ओके नाउ वी हैव एन पंक्चुएशन प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज टू री राइट द सेंटेंस यूजिंग करेक्ट पंक्चुएशन द पर्सन इन चार्ज ऑफ द शिप वॉज कैप्टन स्मिथ दिस इज अ सिंपल स्टेटमेंट मीन्स द पर्सन इन चार्ज ऑफ द शिप वॉज कैप्टन स्मिथ मीन्स द इन चार्ज ऑफ द शिप वॉज कैप्टन स्मिथ इट्स अ सिंपल स्टेटमेंट सो वी हैव टू पुट फुल स्टॉप एट द एंड एंड वी हैव टू स्टार्ट द सेंटेंस विद द कैपिटल लेटर द पर्सन इन चार्ज ऑफ द शिप वॉज कैप्टन स्मिथ ओके लुक इट टू डिट you know that the builder of the ship was aboard when it sank so uh, this is a question did you know that the builder of the ship was aboard when it sank so we have to start with a capital letter and then we have to put a question mark at the end okay look at the third one what a surprise it was when dr robert beller discovered the titanic wreckage what a surprise it was when dr bell robert beller discovered the titanic wreckage so it is a strong it, this sentence shows a strong feeling so we have to start with a capital letter and we have to end with a an exclamation mark so these are the punctuation practice okay now we have a composition sample composition sample sometime the wars even take place unexpectedly one family in ireland discovered this when they decided to take a big risk and travel from ireland to the us here are some of the details about their experience so uh, this is a report writing and uh, when uh, when we saw that uh, we saw that uh, sometimes uh, in our life uh, different events take place and the worst event always take place unexpectedly uh, for example we have an example here that uh, in ireland there was a family Uh, and they decided uh, to take a big risk and they start travel from ireland to us so the, here are some of the details about their experience and uh, when we uh, this is about this is about creative writing when uh, you start a creative writing uh, you uh, take it from the beginning till the end and you have to start with Uh, the w h words means w h word means question words who what where how and why so here we have an example who a family whose father has lost his job and the family was very poor so uh, this report is about a family who decided to take a big risk and uh, start traveling from ireland to the us so who was the family now the question is that who was the family a family whose father had lost his job and uh, the family was very poor the family was very poor because uh, the father of the family has had lost his job okay what now the second question is what they saved up their money for years and they bought tickets for a ship that was going to the us they spent their last bit of money on the tickets so now uh, this is about their tickets taking tickets or their money that they saved their monies for a year and uh, they bought tickets for a ship that was going to us and they spent their uh, last bit of money on the tickets so uh, we are ireland in a poor village so the family belongs to the ireland in a poor village how the son of the family caused the family to be so late that the family missed the ship the family ran to try to catch the ship but it had already pulled away from the dock 
they had no money left to try and get to another harbor so they sadly went back to their home okay uh, now uh, the son of the family caused the family to be late and they missed the ship they tried to catch the ship but uh, uh, it had already pulled from the dock so they had no money left and uh, get to another uh, harbor so they sadly went back to their home okay then why the family felt they had no future in ireland life was very hard and they wanted to try to make a better life in america so uh, this is all about the you uh, the, uh, the family in ireland who had decided to take a big risk and to travel from ireland to the us because they thought that uh, they the life was very hard and hard in ireland the future uh, seems hard so they wanted to try to make a better life in america so they uh, they wanted to go there and uh, they saved up their monies for a year and they bought tickets the tickets for a ship that was going to us but and they spent all their monies on the ticket but uh, unfortunately unfortunate unfortunately the son of the family caused the family to be late and uh, the family missed the ship they ran to catch the ship and uh, tried uh, hard to uh, to catch the ship but uh, it had already pulled away from their place so they they had no money left and uh, get to another harbor so they sadly back to their home so uh, this is all about the family and this is how to write a composition how to write a report or an essay so if we in creative writing this is all about in creative writing we have to use wh words means who what where how why who kon what kya where kaha how kaise or why kyun so these are the words uh, they describe the whole event or whole situation now we have an example here if you were a reporter you could take these facts and write a story similar to this one okay now uh, we use wh words here so if you were a reporter this is uh, all about report writing if you were a, a reporter you can take these events and write a story similar to this one so Mr O'Leary was trying to hold his temper he knew Jake's mistake was an accident but he also knew that if Jake had been more careful it wouldn't have happened but surely they could still make it on time the O'Leary family had been saving a penny at a time for years they wanted to move to america and begin begin a better life finally they had their ship tickets and they would be sailing to america so uh, now uh, we take the uh, the facts ab ab above and we uh, write a story similar to uh, these facts so uh, mr larry was uh, trying to hold his temper because uh, his uh, this is the mistake of uh, his son and the, uh, the accident was his son's mistake jack's mistakes but he also knew that uh, if jack had been more careful it wouldn't happen ha have happened but surely they could still make it on time then uh, because lorry lorry was saving a penny at a time at a time for years uh, because they wanted to move to america and uh, begin to start a new life finally uh, they had their ship tickets uh, they would be sailing to america but the morning they were to leave one of their boys accidentally knocked over the burning wood on the fireplace stove the red hot log started a fire 
they didn't cause a lot of damage but took a while to put out the family was now late to catch the ship they ran to the harbor just in time to see the ship disappearing over the horizon so this is uh, his boys ex mistake that uh, the boy accidentally knocked over the burning wood over the fireplace stove and uh, the red hot log started a fire but uh, it doesn't cause a lot of damage but took a while to put it out so uh, due to this the family uh, was late to catch the ship and uh, they ran to the harbor but in time to see the ship disappearing the horizon they reach in time to ship the to see the ship the old Larry family was shocked they they all was in shock because their dreams their hopes their money all was gone however, however a few days later they learned the true story and their attitude quickly changed so this happens accidentally and we have only three to four uh, facts and from these facts we write a story similar to this one so this is an example first you have to make a mind map when 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 you want to create something or when you uh, start writing then first you have to create a mind map then if uh, you are unable to find uh, to make a mind map then you have to start with the wh words means question words the question words are who what where how and why okay now guided composition writing and enrichment guided composition now you can be a reporter and write an article this time about a famous expedition special trip to find the lost titanic here are the basic facts about the amazing exploration it's up to you to put it together into an interesting article so now uh, this is our this these uh, facts are for our uh, practice so we have to look these facts and we have to uh, explore or we have to create a story about the loss of the titanic so who what when where how and why now who robert ballet a chief u.s navy officer and his famous submersibles alvin and jason what searched and found the titanic wreckage close to 4 km deep when 1985 and 1986 to expedition so it means that robert ballet and uh, his famous sub uh, mercibles means alvin and jason they searched and found that uh, found the titanic wreckage that was close to 4 km deep and it happens on 1985 and 1960 86 so uh, it happened between england and north found land in the atlantic ocean in the area where the titanic sank the ship in imploded because of the heavy pressure so deep in the ocean so the wreck covered almost 25 square kilometer on the ocean floor how with the help of the woods hall institute in Mes massachusetts the u.s navy and two very special remote control submersibles that could take pictures at unthinkable depth why to finally find where the great ship sank see what was left and see if any mysteries could be solved about its sinking so uh, these are the facts so we have to look these facts and we have to uh, and we, we have to explore or we have to create a story about a loss of the titanic so um, in the next uh, lecture uh, we uh, will we will do this and uh, we create a story so uh, try to create a story about uh, this loss of titanic with the help of these facts
so uh, this is all in today's lecture and uh, uh, your assignment is that uh, you have the punctuation practice who is interested in finding out more about the titanic the wreckage has been found close to 4 km deep on the ocean floor don't touch that while you might die so you have to rewrite these three sentences with correct punctuation so this is your assignment and you have to do uh, this on loss sheet okay thank you if you have any queries you can uh, call to your ma'am and or you can contact to your school staff okay thank you